What's up guys? Today we're watching season 4 episode 8 of Breaking Bad. So, last episode. What happened last episode? It's been like about a week since I watched it. Um, why am I blanking right here? Walt and Jesse had a plan to basically kill Gus, you know? Walt made this thing in the lab. Jesse put it in a cigarette. They were looking for a good time to like put it in whatever so they can kill Gus, but they never went through with the plan yet. Gus is actually going through like another thing with I think this other gang. So you know he's got his own shit going on. But also Hank went to his friends with like the DEA and everything. And he actually got, what's it called, Gus's fingerprints from, you know, earlier in that episode going to Los Pollos. And he brought the facts, he brought everything, he presented the evidence, showing them what he thought about, like, the whole thing. And it was scary about how accurate he was, yet, like, everyone is, like, gonna doubt him. But it was fun to see how he did that, and I'm ready to see what they're gonna do with that information, so... Hello, Aspen. <laughs> oh yeah, I went with Aspen. Sorry for all the Sutton voters, but yeah, I went with Aspen. Yeah, I'm gonna see what's gonna happen this episode, so let's just get into it. Why is it all going back to this moment? Placed it. But yesterday, the Federalis were his hussy in the, and in the confusion, one was shot dead. An accident, perhaps. But we may never know. At any rate, I thought you should hear from me. He ain't too happy. But I mean, he can't really say anything. Like I said, they. They went too early, and there were consequences. Was that blood and water? Who... You know what? I'm gonna shut up. I'm still pretty new at this. I mean, one minute I'm starting a new business. My wife and I are thinking about having kids. Suddenly, I mean, I mean life as I know it will yes. never. Excuse me. Yes, I'm. I'm waiting to hear a progress report on that. He really just brushed man off. Why are you being such a dick right now? Just have a casual conversation with the dude. Shit. Excuse me. Never give up control. Live life on your own terms. Look at you trying to give advice. But until then, who's in charge? Me. That's how I live my life. He always wants to be in charge, so... Did he go straight to work after that? I mean, what else do you do? Pollos hermanos or something delicious is always cooking. Yes, detective. They brought him in for questioning? Gustavo, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. How's Kathy? <laughs> Much better, thank you. And you know Hank Schrader? Oh, yes, indeed. They brought him in so fast. I never would have thought that they would. It would be necessary. But then again, I have no idea why I'm here. So you wish to continue? Please. I'm very anxious to find out what this is all about. Oh, no. Prints were found at a crime scene. Really? Uh, that's surprising. <laughs> oh, fuck. They're really questioning him. Gail Bedeker's apartment. 
He confesses to knowing Gale. Over all this time? Oh, no, I hadn't seen Gale for years until uh, I ran into him a few weeks ago. You ran into him where? At the restaurant. He's really gonna cover it up. He has a story. Perhaps a week later, I read about him in the paper. Drug related, you said? It's a good possibility. The, the paper made no mention of that. Hank's like, he, I feel like Hank thinks he's lying, even though he really is, but. It's home. He was a very, very talented chemist. But for reasons I never understood, he was more interested in taking shortcuts than what would or could have been a very promising career. Ah, I was at a fundraiser at Presbyterian Hospital. I was there from 7 to about 10. They're really gonna believe that man because he pulled out a book? Come on. It's my real name. I, I, what I do you think it is? A, uh, a Chilean national, but there are no records of you ever living there. Really? Hank looked into it its human rights abuses, but it was also notoriously unreliable at keeping records. I'm sure if you keep digging, you'll find me. Now he knows to put information about it, so he's going to keep digging, and then he's going to find something, which is going to throw him off completely. Mm. Questioning him just made it worse because now he's going to know what to do to keep him off his tracks. He knows he's in deep shit right now. Yes, this man has been a long time friend of DEA, but that being said, uh, I thought his story was credible. Of course they're gonna think it's true. What do you think, Tim? Well, I wanna follow up on the scholarship, the alibi, but my overall impression, I believed him. Of course they're gonna believe him, bro. Hey, Tiger, how's it hanging? Good. Yeah, so, very nice. She's got a new place? Jesse again from both of us. You got it. So is he, how's he doing? Jesse? You really gonna ask about him, even though y'all ain't talking no more? Well, he is helping you, so... He's busy. And he was in the car the whole time. <laughs> Look, I don't mind dropping checks off every week like Ed McMahon, but uh, if you really want to know how they're doing, why don't you go see for yourself? He never, he doesn't want to show that he has feelings for her. Oh, would he still have feelings for her? That's how she's hiding it? That's Loki smart. <laughs> I didn't think that ever happened. Plus, it shows our wipe down crew that I will support them if a customer is being really rude to them. You're really taking to this whole be your own boss thing. Why did I just realize that that was the fucking clothes with the money under the house? I am slow. Did? And I'm still in remission. So, you're all gonna have to be stuck with me for a while longer. Cheers, buddy. No one's upset about that. Um, Reese, I'm working tomorrow, and there's this uh, gem and mineral shell that's opening at the fairground. I was wondering if you, you could maybe give me a lift. Oh, 
Rugs, almost salmon, hue, you know? Hey, Walt, there's no rock show, okay? I just said that so Marie wouldn't freak. Take it right here. He's gonna clue him in on another thing and help him out. Aw. We're not here for the chicken. Kill the engine. Does that mean he's gonna be in the same room as Gus again? Like, is Gus gonna come up? Well, what about him? Well, I suspect. I can't prove it, mind you, but I suspect. The man's a drug dealer. Oh, and he just keeps cluing Walt in. What if Walt helps him get him arrested? But he really can't because then he could turn Walt in, you know? Murder scene. So we bring him in. You think that, that Gustavo Fring killed Gail Bedecker? Oh, yeah, probably not on these guys. <laughs> Oh, my God. Right. He sits down to talk with us. The problem is that he... What did you ask him? What, what did he say? <laughs> Walt, will you let me finish my story here? I'm, uh, sorry. I'm, uh... He's so impatient with this shit. Hank, why, why are you telling me this? I need a favor. What favor? Are you going to ask him to go in? What I need for you to do is stick this on it. A tracker. Oh my god, he's really getting Walt to help him with this. It's known as extra legal, but it's, trust me, it's a little, our little secret. <laughs> it's easy, okay? Here's what you do. <laughs> of course, Mike has to pull up. Mike's going to see him do it. This is a mistake. Well, I need to help me out here, okay? I mean, this is really important to me. Jesus, just you make me beg you? Come on, just stick it in there. Oh, my God. He just keeps pushing and pushing. And, but it's like, he, again, he doesn't know why Walt feels uncomfortable. Hmm... Mike's gonna see him do it. May I help you? Now he's seeing Gus again. I didn't do it. Do it. Do it. May I help you with your... He wants him to do it. Well, he, he knows now, so Walt can't really get in trouble. So... All he has to do is just, like, keep the tracker on him. And not his car or something. Or give it to Mike and Mike will drive around. I don't know. Just kidding. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mike's ear got sewed back on, or stitched, whatever one. And telling me that he's investigating you. Look, uh, you and I, we, we've had our differences, but I would never. He got really scared about that whole thing. But it's like, Gus seems fine with it, since he knows about it. Then, an owner of a fast food chain. But if something were to happen to Hank, and that would only draw their attention to you and therefore to me as well. Oh, he thinks he would go back after Hank. Jesse! What? Oh, hey, don't wait to be like invited. God damn, why are you screaming? So, where do we stand? Where do we stand on what? Where do we stand with the thing, the thing that you were supposed to do? I assume you haven't done it. Well, duh. Watching us. Hank is, he's relentless. All right, he won't quit. 
Yeah, well, he's got nothing, is all I can say. He's got a lot of shit. Already knows who you are, by the way. And besides, you actually did kill Gail, so there's that. This is all good fodder. He didn't have to bring that up, but... Gus's ass is on the line. And trust me, he will meet with you if he thinks that you're a liability. No, he will waste me if he thinks I'm a liability. Well, he thought you were a liability a few episodes ago, and look what he did. He set you up, and now you're like, okay. But then again, it could be something else next time. I used to think that Gus probably like didn't even watch the footage from like the cameras, but apparently he does. But dealing with both Schrader and the Mexicans at the same time, if he happens to be watching when they make a move. Don't tell me that they're going to plan on doing something to Hank. So he already went through something. Cut the man a break, even though he is going after you. I don't know how many grandmas and grandpas we got. Is there a couple of them out there in viewing land? I didn't expect him to go see him again. Is today the day? Heck no. Today the day for what? Ew. Why are you peeing in your own pool? Hi. No? Ustedes están vendiendo narcóticos. Metamfetamina. No? Con puro respeto, Don Mario. Yo no soy vení. Necesito. Él es mi compañero. Por favor, se lo juro. Bro, just straight up shot him. And Gus looks. Ter he did look terrified until he went to try and kill that man. Huh? That's why there was blood in the pool earlier and I got confused. Maybe next time. Shit. It seems like they definitely have a fucking past. I didn't expect any of that to happen. But I mean, they seem to have business at first. But now look at the other dude. He is in a nursing home. He can't really do anything to Gus. I don't think he has anyone else going to look after him, so he can't really do much now. But this episode wasn't too you know, big on anything. Um, I mean, what's it called? Hank's, Hank is still going after freaking Gus, even though he's not really allowed to. And him bringing Walt into it is just kind of like messing everything up because it's messing up Walt's kind of like relationship with Gus, even though it was already like messed up after what happened. But you can't really, well actually, you can't really say it's messed up because of Hank now because Walter went like straight to Gus after he was trying to like give him to put the tracker on his car and he told him about it and he seemed so scared that Gus was going to like blame him and shit. But then I also, he, I also think he was mostly scared because he thinks that they're going to go after Hank again or something. And to be honest, I don't blame him because I would be scared about that too because as a, like what they were talking about earlier... 
it seems like they're probably gonna go after Hank again because they still have problems with the cartel and they don't want to deal with both problems at once, you know? But, because I mean, like, what else are they gonna do to, like, throw Hank off? It's like, so far, Hank has literally been kind of spot on besides, like, Walter or whatever. But, yeah, he's been spot on and with Gus fucking just coming in and like actually showing that he had an alibi and everything, he just messed up basically uh, Hank's investigation shit. And like, they're not gonna believe him as much because you know, Gus is so believable. But sooner or later, something's gonna pop up that Gus can't really explain, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong because Gus has been getting away with it for so long already, it's like, what's gonna happen now that changes that you know or maybe it's just that walt got involved with him maybe if he didn't get involved with walt none of this would have happened and no one would be on his trail you know but shit happens people get into shit people get like intertwined and shit like this happens he seems like they're about to get fucking caught and i don't know it's just like they're getting closer and closer and I'm just ready to see whenever someone does get caught. Or maybe only one person's gonna get caught at first? I don't know. There's too much to guess as to like what can happen with this show. And a lot of people already tell me not to try and guess with this show, so I'm not gonna try. But yeah, I'm ready to see what's gonna happen next episode. So I guess come back for episode 9. <laughs>